we help businesses realize that even though technology is complex and there's tools and it's a moving target and you have to have the right people, I think we've helped them embrace technology and use it to better their business. We help bring that understanding of what they need to do to compete and to protect their data and protect their customers um, from being exposed. We help them understand what's possible and then we provide sort of a turnkey all-in-one um, solution in terms of a full IT department that uh, a typical small business maybe couldn't afford. We say around here, make sure you don't communicate in just one channel. If that's something really important, pick up the phone because so much is lost through email. And if you communicate on the phone or in person, um, that gives the, the other person the opportunity to clarify and make sure you're on the same page. And I think one of the things that's pretty common when we talk to our customers is everybody feels like they're using about 10% of what they actually have. And they're trying to figure out how do we go from 10% to maybe you know, 25 or 30%. And really, I think it's, uh, it's that journey that we help our customers with, where we get in and show them you know, what kind of things they could be doing and how they can track their business to make it better. Back in um, the mid-90s, uh, Liam worked for a large value-added reseller, and um, they serviced Fortune 100 companies. There were a lot of companies that were still just getting PCs, and you know, they didn't really know how to use them, and they didn't know how to network them. The internet wasn't really around yet. And, Whenever they would try and call for help, there wasn't really anybody to call for help. It came out of identifying a need that small businesses needed access to technology. They didn't have the expertise. They didn't know really where to get started. So they turned to us and we started helping them. Technology itself is not a, is not a great asset. It's actually the application of it to run business. And I'm really passionate about serving others and helping people realize what's possible and help develop that potential. I think what makes the MIS Solutions culture very unique is that our people are passionate. They're passionate about technology, they're passionate about their lives, they're passionate about their community. And I think what we found is when you hire people who have a, a tremendous amount of passion and have a servant leadership heart, that these guys are really able to service your customers. In terms of our love of service, that's, that's spilled over into our community. We're really big about helping people and helping communities. MIS Solutions was really founded around the idea of helping kids. And in doing that, you know, we're involved in children's shelters, we're involved in food banks, we're involved in the local community in terms of schools, in terms of Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. And we help these organizations because ultimately we believe that that that's what we're called to do and it's, it's really how we get involved in our community. Ultimately what we're trying to achieve is probably multi-pronged. Number one is we want to be the premier IT service company in Atlanta. One that's technically competent, can grow with a growing organization and provide that very comfortable, very customer-centric um, service level because life is too short and there's not enough appreciation and there's not enough gratitude in the world. And if you can give a little spark, make somebody feel good, and make them have a great day through their your ordinary course of work, which happens to be IT support, I think mission is accomplished. Mm -hmm.